Yours, Papa Playboys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be painting my valve cover. The reason why I'm gonna be painting my valve cover is because it's like it's chipping right there. And then I don't know, I just want it in a different color. I mean, the silver is nice, but I want something new. This is gonna be my first time ever painting valve cover, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Hopefully, it goes smoothly. 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 Hopefully, it goes smoothly. But yeah, man, uh, today is really windy, so I don't know how that's gonna affect anything, but hopefully doesn't because that will suck because this valve cover is going back on my car so yeah man let's get into it i'm sure you guys how i do it and if you guys want to copy me be my guest all right guys so here's what i'm gonna be using to paint my valve cover i got some primer got some gloss got some uh yellow i got two cans well this can is kind of empty because i used it to spray my calibers a long time ago and then i got some paint thinner or a stripper so yeah i'm gonna put this in a in a cup because this thing is crazy and make sure you guys wear some gloves when, when using this and make sure you guys don't inhale it because this thing is not good for you and it will mess you up. So yeah, let's get to it. So, started scraping the valve cover. Wow, this thing attracts a lot of freaking flies. Like the smell of the remover, the paint remover, it attracts a lot of flies. But yeah, um, as you guys can see, everything's like bubbling up. So it's easier for everything to come out. I kind of really find something soft to use, so I'm just gonna use this for now. Until I, like, I find something I can use. I was trying to use my toothbrush, like my old toothbrush, but that wasn't doing anything. As you guys can see, it's taking forever. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get everything loose. And then I'm going uh, to spray it down with some water. Or probably get my pressure washer and like hit it with some pressure washer. And then uh, see how clean it gets from doing that. Ugh, just stand it up. Alright guys, so we've got the valve cover all stripped. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, it was kind of difficult getting, getting everything off, but I did it. But yo, I'm gonna lie, it kind of looked cool like this, but let me get it set up for paint prep. Got a little, little setup right here. Hopefully these boxes don't fly closed. Nah, I don't think it's gonna do that. But yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna mask up everything. Well, literally what I'm gonna do just get uh like I'm gonna put tape around the spark plug holes, get a sandpaper and just sand around them, and I should be able to like peel off. I'm gonna show you guys. So here we go. All right, so got my little cover. I'm gonna put it like that over it. And now what I'm gonna do is get my sandpaper and just literally sand around. And once I sand around, I should get like a perfect circle. Hopefully. Ooh, all messed up. Wow. 
go. All right, guys. So I was trying to show you guys what happened, but my camera has too much like storage. Not too much storage. It's, the storage is full of my camera, and I can't delete none of that footage. So yeah, basically this is how I got it to look. Everything's masked off. For these, I use quarters. For this, I just put the tape on it, and I did the same process with the sanding. Same thing for the oil cap. And yeah, that's basically it. Everything else is covered. Cover that. Now we get to prep it. Some spray. Five minutes later. All right, so I got the first layer of primer down. So far, so good. I just noticed that it was a little bit messed up right here, but it's fine because that's the back of the motor. You won't be able to see that. But the front's looking nice. Um, what I got to do now is just hit it with some some yellow because this is literally two coats, I think, or there one coat of primer. And yeah, looking good so far. All right, guys, so here goes the valve cover. It's all painted yellow. It had a slight imperfection right there, as you guys can see, but it's not gonna really bother me. I just wanted this valve cover to be yellow. I got tired of just the plain OEM Honda color. So yeah, this is gonna pick up the engine bay a little bit, make the engine bay look, look a little bit juicy, a little spicy. So I'm happy with it. So right now what I'm gonna do, just dry it. I already put clear and all that stuff on it. I didn't really want to show you guys the process of me painting because you guys always see me paint, so. Yeah, I'm gonna dry it off. Well, hopefully it get dry fast because the sun's already going down. But yeah, dry it off, throw it on the car, take some pictures, see how that thing look. Cause I'm ready. I am ready. I like it. The next morning. All right, guys. Day number two. Let's get this bad boy on. Get the car ready. So let's get to it. Honda bond. So this is how the valve cover sitting in the car looks pretty damn good. I like it I wish I could have done it a little better, but I'm not gonna complain because it's what I wanted I wanted a yellow valve cover and I got it Yeah, as you guys can see it has that little imperfection right there and Right there. I probably would send that down and it will look better, but right now I don't really care because From right here. It looks good. Even up close. It looks good. It's just those two little runs, but I like it I don't, I don't care but yeah, let's get this car started. Alright, so the car started kind of hard, but that's because the car hasn't been on for probably like a week now. But sounds good. video hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like comment and subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda i hope you guys like the valve cover i think it came out pretty good but yeah man your boy's out peace